working on some reliability issues which we have sorted out now and basically we just change it to our boat, a bigger turbo to get a little bit more power. Everything seems right, but you know it all comes down to the day in question and we're hoping to do our best for our fans and for our sponsors. Posad will be competing in both the Group 3 and Group 4 categories and in typical fashion, he's looking to put on a show for the fans. In Group 4, it's a little tight. Mark Malone is very fast. Um, but other than him, we don't really have much competition and also we run in Group 3. And it looks good in Group 3 also. Mm -hmm. Once the weather holds up, we, want, we shouldn't have a problem. So just one major change to the, to the car? Yeah, just one major change and just reliability, small things that we finish off. Sponsorship has been a major bugbear for Passat for this race meet, with just tiny auto sales on board. As such, he's making an appeal for more consistent and solid support from corporate entities if drivers like him are to progress in the sport. Everyone needs sponsorship because at the end of the day, motor racing is expensive and we love the sport. You know, motor racing costs a lot and we love the sport and, you know, the viewership is there. Motor racing is the biggest uh, spectator fan base that they have in the whole of um, the Caribbean. It happens in Guyana. Barabas, Trinidad, they have more people coming there than cricket, than the cricket matches, so their money will go far away and also in bettering the sport. As an avid motorsport fan, Prasad is also looking forward to seeing the Suzuki Radicals in action in Guyana for the first time, and he's encouraging Guyanese to be part of the historic occasion at a two-day meet set for November 11 and 12. It's a good thing. I mean, it will bring more people to the races. It's a different something. It's more exciting also. You know, the more things you have to see is better for everybody. The final leg of the International Race of Champions at the South Dakota Circuit will be spread over two days with qualifying on Saturday morning, followed by actual races during the afternoon, the Sunday. Reporting for Newsroom, I'm Alvin